We're going to begin this evening in Wyandotte, where the chief of police sounding the alarm over the number of people who've been running from police. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Glenda Lewis. There have been 41 high speed police pursuits in the city of Wyandotte this year alone. And now their top cop calling on lawmakers to create stricter penalties for those who run from officers. We've been following the issue of these chases for years. 7 News Detroit reporter Carly Petrus shows us what many people in Michigan are calling a problem and the measure that could get people to think twice before running from the law. These streets in Wyandotte are seeing more and more high speed chases. It's a major concern for police and community members who are desperate for a fix. A high speed chase traveling through five cities lasting about 18 minutes. The chase started here at Second and Chestnut. The driver hitting a top speed of 70 miles per hour in a residential area where the max speed limit is 25. Every motorist is in danger right now. Um, they, the police officers are in danger. The suspects even in danger, but obviously they don't care. Wyandotte Police Chief Archie Hamilton says this is just the most recent police pursuit here. And he says the numbers are on the rise since the department started keeping track in 2022. It's a story we've been covering for a few years now. We've greatly seen an increase in uh, defiance from criminals, including fleeing alone. 44 high speed chases in 2022, 45 in 2023, and 41 so far in 2024. We have to send a strong message to the people that run from the police, these criminals, that there are consequences. Hamilton says he's concerned with the continuous increase. We do know it's a problem. And so are community members. In Wyandotte, there's been that many. Really? I, w I wasn't aware of that, and mm -hmm. uh, if that's what they got to do, they're here to uphold the law. Do I think that they should pursue them? Maybe for just major crimes, but for small crimes, I don't think it's worth risking other people's lives. Chief Hamilton is calling on state legislators to help make a change. There needs to be a severe consequence for running from the police. That change could come out of Lansing. What's your reaction to that, those increasing numbers of chases? We don't see it just in Wyandotte. We see it in Michigan. We see it across the country. Representative Andrew Beeler proposing a bill that would change current Michigan law from no more than two years of prison time for fleeing from police to a mandatory minimum of two years behind bars. I think this is a, a, a low cost solution to making our community safer. And it's a way that we can really have law enforcement's back. We can talk about backing the blue all we want, but until we give them the tools to put away criminals for a longer period of time, we're not really supporting them. The driver of the latest chase in Wyandotte, 29 year old Alfredo Luis Ramos. Driver in custody. Was charged with third degree fleeing and eluding, driving with a suspended license, and driving under the influence. He posted bond two days after his arrest. Ultimately, our lawmakers need to change things. Reporting in Wyandotte, Carly Petrus, 7 News Detroit.